The Flyers take on the Bruins, 7 o'clock Eastern, puck drop in Boston. The Bruins are $1.65, total with 6, down to 5.5. 25-cent fade of the Bruins in the early going here. And at the moment, 71% are back on the Bruins, 53% shaded toward the under. The Bruins are 5-2-2 two two on the season, 3-0 and oh in their games at home. They're taking on a Flyer squad who's allowing 4.3 goals a game on the road and failed to win in four out of their last five contests with Boston. Now, total-wise, seven out of Philly's nine games for the season all got over the total. The Flyers are also a perfect 4-0 to the over in their four games away from home. Meanwhile, on the Boston side, two out of their three games at the Garden got over the posted total as well. So with all that said and done, got to make the chalky play in this one. Give me Boston minus one and a half on the puck line and the over. Five and a half goals in this one. And with that said, just want to welcome everybody to the show. I got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's NHL action. But before we get into all of that, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 65% for my last 23 underdog plays on that website, you're costing yourself valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Now, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to just quickly hit that pause button right now. Open up your browser. All you got to do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It only take a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching this program right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And with all that said and done, let's go ahead and jump right back into some more lines and personal leans for NHL Thursday night slate. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Canadians at the Sabres. 7 o'clock puck drop in Buffalo. The Sabres are a buck and a quarter, totals five and a half. Nickel fate of Buffalo in the early going here. And at the moment, 54% shaded toward Montreal, 88% shaded toward the over. And if you like the over in this one, you have to lay a dollar ten. And if you're an under player in this one, uh, you'll have to put up a hundred to win 104. Now, Buffalo's plus 218 on the puck line, while Montreal is minus 238. And speaking of Montreal, they're holding their opponents to just 2.6 goals per game on average. The Canadians have also been dominant in this series with Buffalo, going 8-1-1 in their last 10 head-to-head matchups. The Sabres on the other side, just 2-7 in their last 9 puck line plays at home. They also dropped 4 out of their last 5 with Montreal on their home ice in Buffalo. Now, total-wise, just 1 out of these teams' last 10 matchups actually got over the posted total. The totals also stayed under in 4 out of Buffalo's last 5 with the Canadians. So with all that said and done, I gotta take the road dogs in this matchup here. Give me Montreal plus a dollar ten in the under five and a half in this one. Next game, Predators Devils seven o'clock New Jersey. The Preds are a dollar twenty on the money line. Totals five and a half. Fifteen cent fade of Nashville in the early going here. Sixty three percent are leaning Nashville. Sixty two percent are shaded toward the under. The under five and a half is an even money proposition for you, while the over five and a half will cost you a dollar three. The Preds are plus two thirty five on the puck line, while New Jersey's laying two fifty five, catching the one and a half. Jersey's just two and four straight up in their last six at home against Nashville. The Preds are 5-0 and straight up in their last five on the road. Just four out of Nashville's nine games this season actually got over the total. Meanwhile, on the Jersey side, three out of their five home games stayed under the total themselves. Give me the Predators, minus a buck 20 in the under. Five and a half goals in this one. Next game, Blue Jackets take on the Blues. Eight o'clock St. Louis. St. Louis is a buck and a quarter, total six. 30 cent fate of St. Louis in the early going here. But at the moment, 55% of the spread consensus, I'm sorry, the money line consensus is back on St. Louis. 55% is shaded toward the over. The over six is plus a dollar five right now, while the under six is minus a buck fifteen. A Columbus puck line play will cost you two fifty, while a St. Louis puck line play will pay you two thirty on a hundred dollar bet. St. Louis is four and two ATS in their last six games, four and one straight up when taking on Columbus. The Blue Jackets on their side of things are just 1-6 and six straight up in their last seven games on the road in St. Louis. Now, total-wise, the Blues are 2-1-1 one one to the over in their four home games. Meanwhile, two out of CBJ's last three games on the road got over the total themselves. So with all that said and done, give me the St. Louis Blues minus a buck and a quarter in the over. Six goals in this one. Next game, Kings at the Wild, 8 o'clock Minnesota. 
The Wild are the $1.65 favorite on the money line. Totals 5.5. 25-cent fate of Minnesota in the early going here. 63% of the consensus is leaning toward Minnesota. 71% is shaded toward the under. An underplay will cost you a buck fifteen. An overplay will pay you a dollar nine. LA's minus one ninety on the puck line, while Minnesota's plus a dollar seventy-five to lay the goal and a half. LA's averaging just one and a half goals per game on the road. They've also lost eight out of their last nine on the road, dating back to last season. The Wild on the other side, four and two straight up in their last six, while also winning four out of their last five head-to-head matchups with the Kings at home. Now, total-wise, just three out of Minnesota's eight games actually got over the line. Meanwhile, on the other side, just one out of LA's five games on the road got over the total themselves. So with all that said and done, give me the Minnesota Wild winning this one outright and the under five and a half goals in this one. Next game, Ducks, Stars, 8.30 Dallas. The Stars are $1.65, totals five and a half, 20 cent fade of Dallas on the money line. And at the moment, 61% is leaning toward the Stars. Most shops are shaded toward the over as well. An overplay will pay you $1.04 in this one. Underplay will cost you a buck ten. A puck line play on the Ducks will cost you $1.90. A puck line play on Dallas will pay you $1.75 to lay the goal and a half. The Ducks are just two and five straight up in their last seven games, one and four ATS in their last five on the road. They're taking on a Dallas squad who's five and two on the puck line in their last seven at home, while also going a perfect five and zero straight up in their last five at home against Anaheim. Now, total wise, just three out of the Ducks' ten contests for the season got over the total. Anaheim's also four and two to the under in their six games away from home. Meanwhile, on the Dallas side, just three out of their eight games for the season got over the total themselves. So with all that in mind, give me the Dallas Stars minus 165 in the under. Five and a half goals in this one. Next game, Rangers, Blackhawks. There it is. Rangers, Blackhawks, 830 Chicago. The Blackhawks are 150, total six. Chicago's 4-1 straight up in their last five against the Rangers. 4-1 on the puck line in those five as well. The Rangers are 0-5 straight up in their last five on the road themselves. Out of the Blackhawks' last five home games, uh, uh, excuse me, a lot of totals. <laughs> what am I looking at here? A lot of totals in the Blackhawks' last five games. Two out of New York's last three on the road got over the total themselves. Give me the Blackhawks minus 150 in the over. Six goals in this one. Next game, Penguins, Flames. We are all over the place here on the board. Penguins, Flames, 9 o'clock Calgary. The Flames are $1.10, total 6.5. 71% are leaning Pittsburgh, 59% toward the under. Calgary's 5-1 and one straight up in their last six with the Pens. Pittsburgh's just 2-7 and seven ATS in their last nine puck line plays. Three out of Calgary's three home games got over the total. Two out of Pittsburgh's three road games for the season got over the total themselves. So give me the Calgary Flames minus a buck ten in the over. Six and a half goals in this one. Next game, Capitals, Oilers, 9 o'clock Edmonton. The Caps are a buck and a quarter. Total six, 69% leaning toward Washington, 87% toward the over. Edmonton dropped five out of their last six against the Caps. Washington 16-5 and five straight up in their last 21 on the road, dating back to last season. Six out of Washington's eight games for the season got over the total. Two and one to the over away from home. Meanwhile, on the Edmonton side, they're allowing over three goals a game on the defensive side themselves. So with all that in mind, give me the Washington Caps minus 125 in the over. Six goals in this one. All right, next and final game for the show, it is going to be Canucks at the Coyotes. 10 o'clock Arizona, the Coyotes are $1.95, totals 5.5, 67% are leaning Arizona. The Coyotes are just 3-7 and seven straight up in their last 10, dating back to last season. 2-5 and five straight up in their last 7 at home. Vancouver's gone 4-1 and one ATS in their last 5 road games. 4-2 and two on the puck line in their last 6 in Arizona. 7 out of the Coyotes' last 8 games all stayed under the total. Meanwhile, 5 out of Vancouver's last 7 stayed under the total themselves. So for the second night in a row, give me the Vancouver Canucks plus one and a half on the puck line in the under five and a half goals in this one. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock page. And with a documented win percentage of 65% for my last 23 underdog plays on that website, you're costing yourself valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. 
Now, packages begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to just quickly hit that pause button right now and open up your browser. All you got to do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching this program right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And most importantly, thank you for watching today's program. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And please don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page.